uh, how to set up local stack. If you are not aware about local stack, uh, we generally use it for uh, any you know uh, testing for uh, you know when we are developing for cloud. For example, for AWS, we want to test for S3 or you know SNS or SQS. And now, when you are doing a development on your local machine, uh, you don't want to connect to AWS S3 and test there. You know you want to have some environment on your local machine where you can mimic or simulate S3. So that's where local stack comes. So we'll uh, go through the high level installation. This is the website. You can go through this website and uh, we will go through the installation and uh, setting it up, how to set it up, how to start and how to create, for example, an S3 bucket. So I will start with that. I have done the installation, but I'll be running the commands again. I follow the exact same commands. So first on this website, you can on this page, you can see the installation for whatever environment you have for Mac, Linux, Windows or other. You can follow the corresponding command. I have Mac, so I I will follow this command. I've already installed it, but I'll still run it. Uh, let me copy this. Copy. And uh, so run this. Paste. So this is the way to install local stack CLI. So I already installed, so it's giving it's already installed and up to date. And I have created some notes here as well. If you need these notes, let me know. So uh, now if you have installed, once you have installed it, you can use this command to check the version and make sure it's properly installed. So we'll just run this command here, not here, sorry. I forgot to switch the terminal. Okay, so we'll run this command here and you can see it will show you the version. If it is successfully showing you the version, that means it's you know, automatically installed. Now it has a lot of documentation about various other alternatives also. So we are not going to go through this. The next is the API key. You use this for if you want to use the pro version, professional version. So we are not using it. So I'll skip this. Now quick start. So I want to start my local <coughs> container, local stack container. Uh, you should have Docker installed because it runs on Docker. So install the Docker and then do this installation of local stack. Now, one thing is when you want to run your local stack, uh, you want to set this flag activate pro is equal to zero so that we are not using the pro we are using a uh, free version community version so you have to set this flag and then say local stack then start then hyphen d to indicate that you are running in detached mode if you don't run in detached mode then it will uh, the server will start here and when you press controls you shut down your computer server will also shut down so my like in docker minus d is in detached mode so let's do that i don't have the server started so i'll start the server paste it and you can see server got started, starting container and it started the container and saying detaching because it's in detached mode. If it is not giving any error, that means the server is already started. Now, um, so you have set up the server and you set up. Now you want to run commands on this uh, local stack, uh, AWS commands. So for that, you can uh, follow this link. So I'll go through this link and then here uh, you can follow the instructions. Here it's already configured. So first thing you do is you say pip install CLI. Make sure that pip is what you are using. So I had pip, I don't didn't have pip. I had pip three. So I had to give pip three. Then later I created an alias of pip to pip three. So whatever pip you have, so your pip install AWS CLI. So it will install, and then you can set this up in your batch profile or if you are using any you know ZSH or ZSH, then set up it uh, ZSH RC. Set this up. So for uh, community version. You have to set this as test, AWS access key as test, secret access key as test, and default region I have set it to, I just followed this eight US East one. Now you can, once we set this up, then you can run the AWS commands to see uh, different artifacts uh, of local stack on your local. But for, for to do that, you have to give this endpoint URL always because this endpoint URL should be pointing to your local stack, not to the real AWS. So if you don't give this, it will start pointing to AWS, which won't work because this setup is not for AWS. So you set this up for local and you have to give this command and there's a way around to this also. We'll talk about it. Once you've done it, then you can configure the AWS uh, configure uh, default. So let's do that. Uh, AWS configure profile default. So I'll paste it. Control V, I did not copy it, copy and control V. Then it will ask you the access key. I had given the test, you give the same thing here. So I have given the test, it's asking whether to use that same key or change. I am not changing. 
secret key is also given as test so i am not changing that also default region is also given as this i am not changing that also the output format i want in json so i am not changing that also and this is what it is so it's the same thing which you are given here it is going to ask the same thing here so this is given now you can check the aws configure list whatever you configured it should appear so copy so you can see the you know access key secret key region and everything right so it appears here now uh AWS local you so I was talking about you have to give this uh, you know endpoint URL to point to your local stack every time so if you want to avoid that you can install this AWS uh, AWS local so this AWS local where is that huh AWS local is thin wrapper whatever for AWS that runs directly against local stack so you don't have to specify endpoint URL so you install AWS local do this I have used this command AWS install CLI local so I have pasted everything here so you install AWS CLI first then configure this first then you install aws uh, you know uh, cli local so let's install this also control c control v so because i have already installed it saying requirements are already satisfied but you can install for yourself now once you're done it that means your local setup is ready now you want to uh, check some things let's say you want to deal with s3 so you can create an s3 bucket for example this is a command now you use aws local command every time you don't have to use aws because aws local removes the need of giving that endpoint url but if you still want to use aws you can use but then you have to give endpoint url pointing to your local stack every time like this correct uh, like this if you want to use aws but i prefer to use aws local so what i would do is huh before you do that you have to do one thing you have to i think we already started the uh, local stack this is what i was telling so once you have started this now you can create bucket for example so you can create this bucket i already created one bucket so i'll change the name and create the new bucket so paste it and let's change the bucket name to one so it will create the bucket now you want to check the bucket uh, so you can run this command aws local this this same aws command instead of using aws we're using aws local rest everything is same s3 api list buckets it will show the two buckets one i had created earlier oh it's showing one bucket i guess yes my bucket one for whatever reason i had not created that so this is a bucket now you can do one more thing either you can check it from here or you can go uh to your um uh, browser and you can you can say local host then it is four five six six and this is the my bucket so it'll show you the my bucket it can show you right now i don't have anything here so it's showing just the bucket name you can you can use the aws cli commands to put anything inside this bucket get it put it delete it whatever you want so that's aws cli documentation only thing is that instead of using AWS, you will be using AWS local. So that's about it, uh, how to set it up the local stack. Only the last thing will be, if you want to see what else is supported in local stack, so you go to uh, this website and click on references and lo uh, local stack coverage. For example, I want to check what all, you know, whether S3 is supported by community edition or it is supported by professional edition. So you click on this. So it will show you <laughs> that copy object, create bucket, everything is supported in community edition. So we can use S3 uh, you know, in community edition. If you want to check, let's say DynamoDB and DYNA DynamoDB. So this DynamoDB is also more or less supported in community edition. Some commands like create backup is in pro, delete backup is in pro, but most of the things are supported in community edition also. And I use SNS also. So SNS, SQS, these both are supported in community edition. And uh, so it will help you test your uh, services uh, locally uh, while development. So that saves a lot of effort and time. So that's about it. Thank you very much.